let us continue with our lesson and in this lesson let's well learn about the name argument in kotlin so in the previous lesson we have already learned about the default argument and in this lesson we'll be learning about the name argument so let's go and start in our project so here in our project i have already created one function which is the function name is scale dimension and here we are passing a three parameter which is width height and a length so we have a three parameter over here and all of them are of an integer data type so you can see the data type that we need is an integer and what we are doing is we have a variable of a value over here which is doing some calculation height into width into length and that's the finding a dimension and finally we are logging that value so that's a simple function that will calculate a dimension and after we pass the width height and the length so over here in the on create method let's go and let us call this method first of all so i'll just say as a cal dimension over here and i need to pass a three argument which is of a width height and a length so let's say the height width is of a 10 and let's say height is of a 5 and uh, let's say that the length is of a 8 and uh, we will run the application for now let's run it and let's wait for the gradle to build up our project application has successfully installed it over here and let's go to the log cat over here and uh, here we can see over 400 so which is a 10 into 5 each of uh, 50 and 50 into 8 8 into 5 which is 40 and that's a 400 so that's the result we are getting over here and uh, that's a simple way that we call a function with passing a parameter or a argument and the next step is to see about the name argument and how we can make use on this so let's say we want to make use of a name argument then i'll just remove all of this and what i will do is i will just say as a wid th width which each of is equals to let's say 10 and let's say after we we call it as a height and i'll just say as a 5 and after that we will have a length length is of let's say 8 and here you can notice that we have called it by a name with height and a length so that's the same name variable name that we have provided or we have created as a parameter so with height and a length so we can see that the width over here and the width over here which is the same i have created as i have given the same name argument over here so if we give as a different that will not work so let's say which that's not going to work so the argument name argument and the parameter name should be of a same type as well as the same name so we should provide the whatever parameter a variable name that we have created over here we should be calling the same argument over here, argument name over here and uh, if you try to run this application and let's go to the log can and let me clear it out and uh, okay so we can see that again 400 that's perfectly working fine so when we are calling directly with the parameter name and uh, you may be wondering that why we should call our name argument or why should we should use a name over here we can just pass a directly a value or argument over here and why should we pass a argument name over here so the name argument name is useful like let's say let's say we now have only three parameter over here and let's say we may have a 10 parameter or a 20 parameter that we need to pass so let's say you have n number of parameters that we need to pass over here and at that time it may be very difficult for you to remember so what kind of data type or what kind of uh, value that you should pass so instead of passing some kind of argument that you are get confused at the time we should be able to pass using an argument name so that's the main plus point over here for a name argument that we can make use of so 
the another thing over here is like let's say i just remove over everything from here and the big plus point over here is let's say i just pass a length over here and length is let's say 10 uh, let's say 8 right and uh, let's say i will pass as a width of let's say as a 10 and the finally i'll pass it as a height which is a 5. so if you notice over here the width height and length is the but first we have width and we have a height and we have a length over here the parameter name if you notice over here we first have a width height and a length but if you notice over here the length is the last and i can just make use of it at any place so i don't have to worry that i should pass this value to this at this point of the parameter so let's say we have a 10 parameter that we have over here and that you need to pass a certain value at a specific point of your parameter and at that time that it may be quite difficult for you to remember that what what parameter that uh what value you should pass to that a specific parameter but when we use a name argument we can just make mix it at any position of our uh, argument that we are passing we can pass it at any position that that should not cause any problem or will not give us any unwanted result from it so that's a big plus point over here and if you try to run this application just run it and let's go to the log cat over here and i'll just clear it out and you can see again we get a 400 and that's um if you notice over here we are not doing any specific kind of manipulation with the uh, parameter that we are getting over here but uh, let's say that you have some specific requirement that at which position that you should pass a specific uh, value then there may be some uh, error right so at that time we can just make use of our name argument and we can just pass it anywhere that you want so that's the big uh, that's the big plus point one of the big plus point over the name argument and uh, i hope you guys got it and if you still have some question or if you still have some uh, queries over it and do let me know so we will continue with our lesson on our next video till then have a great day